this Hollywood? Hi, yeah, I was just wondering, uh, do you know how to come up with an original idea? No? Okay, bye bye Wow. Wow. I mean, okay, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. But I also had really, 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 really low expectations. Really low. That doesn't mean it was good though, because it was a flaming pile of dog shit. If you were to chug like five gallons of Ecto Cooler and then throw it up, that would be better than the new Ghostbusters movie. However, your mom, who thinks the word darn is a swear word, she'll love it. She'll think it's knee smacking hilarious. This is like the kind of movie for your Aunt Marge, or for the people who say, oh, Flo from the progressive commercials is just a hoot. Kill me. It was just like, None of the jokes landed. It was all so hokey and shoehorned and just badly, badly written. Some of the jokes warranted like an almost laugh. Like I'm kind of laughing on the inside, but not quite enough to let it out. I'm not like rolling on the floor. There were two jokes that actually made me laugh out loud. Two. Two jokes in the entire movie. In a movie that is pitched as a comedy. It is a reboot of comedy. And two jokes made me laugh. So yeah, the humor was a bust. Well, what about everything else, Steph? How about the characters? Was the plot at least good? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> no. The four lead characters, the Ghostbusters, were all the same character, pretty much. Nobody really had their own voice. They were all very, very obviously written by one person. Except maybe Holtzman, who was kind of like the crazy, quirky one. And I honestly did like her character a lot throughout the movie. She was kind of the only thing holding it together for me. Kate McKinnon's performance was just really fantastic, and I like her a lot. I found her pretty funny. And even Leslie Jones had a few parts where I was like, all right, girl, you, you can stay. But overall, the characters were just lazily written and their interactions were weird and everything just felt forced and unrealistic. And Kristen Wiig and Melissa McCarthy pretty much play the same role that they have played in every other movie they've ever been in. I mean, I'm usually a fan of Kristen Wiig, but she always plays this like awkward, quirky, weird character in every single movie. And then Melissa McCarthy pretty much has like the same style of jokes in every character she plays. I was just like, Really? Really? But there is one character, one booking character, who I absolutely abhor. I want all of his writers to burn in hell for making me sit through this horrendous experience. Booking Chris Hemsworth. What are you doing? Are you drunk? I don't even care that he's hot. And that's saying something. I didn't even notice how attractive he is because of how annoying his character is. That is bad. If your superior attractiveness cannot make me look past how shitty you are of a character, that is so bad. We have a problem. Holy shit. Holy shit. I feel like I can never look at him again. Like, I'm scarred. Like, ugh, Chris Hemsworth, no. And it's actually kind of sad. Like, I feel bad for Chris Hemsworth. It wasn't his fart. <laughs> it wasn't his fart. Fault. It wasn't his fault. It was not his fault. He was just playing in the role that he was given, and it was very, very unfortunate. It just happened to be a really shitty role. Like, damn, I'm gonna have a drink for him. Here's to your impending failed career. Cheers, hot stuff. Mmm, this movie probably would have been a lot better if I was drunk. But one of the biggest problems that I have with this movie is that it just, like, totally solidified something for me. This? is what Hollywood has become. This is the kind of cinema that Hollywood wants. They want this. They don't care about a good story. They don't care about a fantastic film. They don't care about art or creativity. They care about profit. They care about catering to consumerism and feeding the gluttonous nostalgia hog because that's all they have left. Oh, you have an original idea? Fuck that. Put a label on it that people will recognize, like Ghostbusters or Batman. It doesn't even really have to be accurate as long as it's connected to some huge franchise that'll make us money. Congratulations, you're a huge sellout. As someone who is like trying to get into the film business and is actually passionate about filmmaking, this is actually sickening. Like, I am disgusted. Is this the business that I am trying to be a part of? Are these the people that I so desperately want to accept me? Because if so, uh, I'm out. I'm out. I quit. I'm just gonna go direct Budweiser commercials and drink my tears away. Like, fuck, fuck this. Fuck this. Sorry, that just got like super real. I'll leave on a lighter note. Ghostbusters fucking sucks. I don't recommend it to anybody. That's it. That's all you need to know. I'll read it a ghost shooting itself in its stupid fucking face. Go watch the original. Just go watch it. It never needed a reboot. It's fine the way it is. Let me know in the comments what you thought of Ghostbusters, but I don't really care. I'm Sefkoza, and I'm fucking done.